Hey guys, Moan Bear here and in this video I'm going to talk about the biggest mental roadblocks for entrepreneurs and this is part two. Let's get to it. So hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Moan Bear. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses. Everyone out there is talking about starting businesses from scratch. I'm here to show you that you rather go and buy existing profitable businesses versus starting them from scratch and the fact that it's actually going to cost you the same if not less than the amount that it's going to cost you to start an existing one a start starting one from scratch i'm also here to show you that it's much easier to grow a business that's already making half a million or a million a million to grow it to a, a larger amount versus starting one from scratch and getting it to half a million or a million in sales i'm here to show you that if you have an existing business your best way to grow is by acquisitions by going and by other companies and I'm also here to share with you my journey, my mistakes, some of the lessons that I've been through. I've been doing it full time for the last three years. And what I found out is that most people out there, first of all, don't know it's possible. And I'm also, I also found out, at least personally, that I just didn't like the day to day of running a business. I'd rather be the person who's in charge of the vision and kind of like doing or, or kind of like someone who, who loves the art of the deal, uh, just being in front of people and doing things and deciding on strategy and, and goals and things like that versus the, the day to day, which in my opinion, boring and, and reputable stuff. So this channel, is, this is what it's all about. Today, we're going to talk about um, the mental roadblocks for entrepreneurs. This is part two. Um, maybe it's not directly related to buying businesses and if you want the actual skills and strategy go and watch some of my other videos but based on all the questions that I'm getting this is in my opinion the most important thing we should focus on so we'll get into it but also before we start remember to like subscribe um, help me grow the channel because that's gonna help me do more deals and will help you then do your own deal So like subscribe join our free business buying mastermind. You can see it in the description below um, It's a free group with everyone out there buying businesses so You can be around people who want to do what we're doing or want to do what you're doing um, That's all I think. Oh, yeah, and, and see in the description below. I want to post daily So give me ideas put your info in the description below There's a link where you put your info and you tell me what is your biggest question and I'll try to create um, personalized videos for you with answers like like this one. So yeah, let's let's get to today's topic now. So last time we talked about um, self doubt and all of, and, and watched that video. That was in, in my opinion one of the biggest things you, you should focus on um, because people always doubt themselves and they always think that strategy is more important than their mindset and the fact that they you gotta be around the people already doing what you're doing in order to have the right beliefs. And if you don't have the opportunity to be around those people too much, you need to literally brainwash yourself with the right questions and the right focus. So your actions will come from a different place, a place of someone who's already successful. So today we're going to talk about perfectionism and the fact that I see so many people out there, even people who join our partner program, they think that if they go and watch another video or go and read another book, they're progressing, they're moving forward. So what they're doing is they're basically trying to perfect their strategy before they're taking action. They're saying, wait, let me perfect this. Let me, let me change that. Let me do that. Let me read that. Let me watch that. Let me, let me do everything that isn't the right exact action that they need to take in order to move forward. So as you know, in, any, in everything in life, there are a few steps you need to take in every endeavor in order to get results or at least to move forward towards results. So for example, in the world of health, you need to, if you want to lose weight, you need to eat in a calorie deficit, basically. You need to work out if you want to build some muscle and, and be healthy. And literally, those are the main two things you need to focus on. Just if you want to lose weight, eat less than you need, less calories and work out. And people out there, they think that if they're going to read another book on how to lose weight or on other diet books, that that's going to move them forward towards the actual results. And that's exactly what I see happening in this space of buying businesses or just in business in general. People think that they need to read the next, the, the latest marketing book or the latest, they need to learn the latest strategy in business. And they basically do everything they can in order to avoid the actions that will potentially lead them to failure, if that makes sense. They do everything they can in order to not take action to, to get results. Um, and I see it with everything, like people try to build their dream team for, like I know people who were with me in the Castle Seminar um, with Dan Pena, 
that was more than three years ago now and they're still they still didn't pick a sector they still didn't build their dream team they never talked to a business owner yet they never talked to an accountant lawyer financial institutions um, they're doing everything they can in order to not take those actions they're they're basically doubling they're they're thinking that if they're going to read another book that's what's going to lead them to results and, and it's not true so i want to expand on that a little bit more now one of the biggest problems i see is that people say to themselves that they're busy that they're moving forward the problem with doing all those things that i just mentioned reading books going to more seminars more courses you're saying to yourself that you're busy you're telling yourself that you're progressing but you're not and you whenever you're not taking action you can't get feedback on what you're not doing it's like people join our partner program and within a week they they come back to me and they tell me hey what's going on and i tell them hey what what did you do did you take did you take the actions that i told you to take if you didn't take the actions that you were supposed to take i can't give you feedback i can't tell you what is good or what what is wrong because you're not trying to progress and and it's so important you got to take the actions that will actually potentially give you results so in this space of buying businesses you got to talk to business owners obviously there are strategies on how to find motivated sellers and you need a system and a filter ways and all that stuff but you need to take those actions you need to talk to business owners you need to make offers you need to then talk to financial institutions you need to talk to um, advisors accountants lawyers you need to do those things in order to get, be able to get feedback either from me my partners or anyone other in the world that you trust and and want to listen to his advice but in if you're not taking those actions don't expect or, or don't be surprised that you're not getting the results that you want if you're not in a rush to get results it's all good I'm, I'm not saying anything but if you want the results you got to take actions and potentially be okay with getting hearing no and getting failures and, and that's okay that's part of the process you need to learn to enjoy that i think one of the biggest thing you can do in this space or, or in life in general is learn to enjoy no learn to enjoy failures and personally now if i don't fail a little bit every week i feel like i'm not progressing enough i feel like i'm in my comfort zone it means that i'm doing things that are just normal to me and, and are comfortable to me and you can't expect to grow and progress in life or get results if you're not doing things that are new to you now i see that there's many trainings out there on go build a dream team and get accountants and lawyers and think about what you're passionate about and what your sector should be and all that stuff in my opinion guys you need to take the shortest path to success if you want to buy a business take the shortest path in order to buy a business everything around it you can build it as you go towards that buying business goal but if, if you're always thinking about wait i need to think about my sector for one year now i'm not passionate about it it's like i saw someone commenting on one of my videos if i ever think about just focusing on one niche and one sector and create some kind of a roll-up in that sector so my answer to that is first of all yes of course i want to do a roll-up in specific industries or just even one industry and I'm more than happy to grow a business as, as, as much as I can in a specific industry. But what I don't, I don't want to do is be okay with not looking at other deals that I have. So if I have a deal flow in different industries and I have deals that I can do today, why would I, why would I go and tell those, tell those people, hey, um, no, I, I don't want to buy your business for basically free. It's a million dollar business. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want to buy your business because I have my focus on a different industry maybe i'll do that in the future right now i want to buy as many businesses as i can i want to have the experience i want to fail i want to learn as much as i can so i don't want to say no to different things that potentially will lead me to a better success in the future so and i see people out there literally thinking about their sector or passion for for years before they're taking action and they're thinking that they're progressing because they're watching videos all the time guys you watching videos even you watching this video is not going to give you results yes obviously you're going to change your mindset a little bit to potentially take action and get those results but the actual watching actually watching this video isn't going to give you results what you're going to get results from is doing the things that you're afraid of you're going out there talking to business owners you're going out there making offers on businesses and you're going out there and getting no's you, you trust me i'm getting probably more no's no's more no on my offers on our company's offers than any one of you combined like we're getting we're sending so many offers every week it's like getting no is, is part of the process you gotta be okay with it you gotta enjoy it because for us we know that the more no we'll get from sending offers 
it's leading us to getting a yes. It's literally a numbers game. The more no we'll get, the more offers we'll send, the more yes we'll get eventually. It's a numbers game. There's, life is a numbers game, guys. You need to play the numbers and eventually you'll get your yeses as well. Or another thing I see is people thinking, hey, should I form a company? Should I register a company, an LLC? Should I build a website? Or thinking about my, my company name or build a, 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 a Gmail account or, a, or have a website uh, email. And all that shit is like, yes, is it important to, to look official and have like an email? I, I guess you can say yes, but trust me, if you're just starting in this space, you better go and spend one or two hours literally knocking on doors of business owners in the street then you go to, to spend your time to try and build a website or try to learn, I don't know, people, I heard people go and try to learn HTML or WordPress or whatever, ClickFunnels or ways to buy a website, to, to build websites instead of going out there and doing what they want to do, which is to buy businesses. Guys, you going out there learning HTML right now to build a website isn't going to move you towards buying a business, guys. You need to understand that. Like, it's, it's just frustrating me to see that, that people wasting... I'm not even joking, few months to learn how to build a website or thinking about their name or again, thinking about their sector. Instead of going out there, go knock door to door between businesses in your street and ask if they'll be open to sell their business. That'll be much better action for you to take and gonna lead you up to, to do your results much faster. But you're probably afraid to get a no. You're probably afraid to go and knock to, to a business door or cold call a company and, and hear no, sorry, no, we, we don't want to sell our business. You're afraid of that no and that's why you're not taking those actions and you're trying to perfect everything around you before you take those actions. Um, and you literally try to do whatever you can to delay those actions, if that makes sense. So what I'm here to tell you is that be okay with getting no be okay with failing don't try to perfect everything around you go out there and and fail forward and and what i heard once is that imperfect action will take um perfect inaction every day or something like that basically take action even if it's imperfect that will lead you to results much faster than taking no action and you need to stop taking rejections Personally, I think that's one of the biggest things. When someone is saying to you no, when you're trying to buy his business, you're making an offer and they're saying no, they're not telling to you personally, to you as a human being, no, I hate you, I don't wanna be with you, I don't wanna deal with you. They are literally just saying no to your offer. This is just numbers, this is a logical game and you're trying, you're, you're putting emotional too much into this space of buying businesses or again, business in general. You gotta be less emotional. You gotta look at it as, an, as a numbers game, as just looking at it, at it as the what is the right thing to do versus how do I feel, if that makes sense. And you need to really trust the fact that the more no you'll hear, the more rejections you'll have, eventually you'll get a yes. Now, obviously, if you're just starting in this space, you probably you're not you don't have the certainty behind you that getting those rejections will eventually lead you to success and getting a yes to an offer for example and that's why you gotta have that belief internally within yourself or you gotta have a surrounding a mentor or a team of people who are doing it day to day who will tell you if what you're doing is right or wrong otherwise you gotta have a certainty in yourself so much and you need to know that even if i'll get 99 rejections I know that eventually I'll get one of those 100 offers. Someone will say yes. And again, in this space of buying businesses, in those businesses that we're talking about, usually businesses doing between one to 10 million a year in sales, all you need is one good deal to literally change your life. And then you'll become an addict to it. Like the, the idea of doing deals, you'll become an addict to it and you probably want to do more of those. But in your first deal, it's really trust in the process that you'll get a yes eventually after all those rejections. And if you can't, literally brainwash yourself internally that it's possible you gotta have the team around you to keep you accountable and to basically literally transfer their beliefs to you and the beauty is after you go out there and let's say you get 99 rejections and you get one yes after 100 now you know that all you need to get one yes is to talk to 100 companies and all you need to focus on right now is how do i get to those 100 companies how do i get those 99 rejections as fast as possible that's your only focus then. And that's how you scale a business. That's how you scale a company. That's how you scale everything. Even if you have an existing business and you're going out there and prospect for clients and you know you get one out of 100 prospects as a client, all your focus should be is how do I get right now 
more 99 rejections as soon as possible and that's how you scale a business that's all guys and it's everything it's it's in this space as well as buying business in buying businesses but instead of us going and prospecting for clients we're prospecting for businesses we can buy and that that's what i suggest you do go there enjoy failures don't perfect your your surrounding before you're willing to take action don't get ready to get ready if that makes sense go out there send offers talk to business owners that's the best way to progress I hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, Moan Pobera here and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, help me grow the channel because the more you help me grow the channel, the more deals I'll be able to do and the more I'll be able to give you more value. So please, if you didn't yet, like the video right now, subscribe right now and comment below on this video. Let me know your thoughts. And also check in the description below this video, there's a text description where you can have a link to a free business buying mastermind group that we have on Facebook. Join it right now if you're not in it yet. There are amazing people in there, people who are looking or doing deals on a regular basis and you can be part of this conversation. So go to the description right now. Also, I'm looking to create daily videos on the topics of buying and growing businesses and I need your help on having ideas for more topics. So in the description below, you also see a link for a survey where you give me your biggest question. You just fill in, fill in your personal details and I'll create a personalized video for you based on your specific question. So help me with that. Put your details below in the survey and give me ideas for videos. Do it right now after you join the Facebook group. And if you like this type of content or just in general looking to accelerate your growth and buy businesses faster and you want to take things to the next level, if you want to see if you're a fit to our partner program and basically have access to a team that did more than 300 deals, it's mainly me and my partner Carl Ellen and we have a main CFO who was involved in many, many deals. So if you want access to that and you want us to be your partners, if you want access to us 24 seven, I mean access to me in my Skype, my personal email, my phone number if needed, and you want us to show you A to Z how to buy and grow businesses and how to grow by acquisitions and not just show you what to do, but also be there with you and help you close deals as your partners. We want to do more deals and we can help you do that. You'll learn everything from how to position yourself as a legit buyer if you, if you have no experience and how to use our track record as your dream team and position yourself as a legit buyer in front of business owners and brokers. How to then find motivated sellers because everyone can find business owners and tell them that you want to buy their business but most of them are not motivated to sell their business and we will show you how to find motivated sellers. We'll show you how to talk to those business owners, how to negotiate deals with them, how to get the financials from them and how to use our team to do all the calculations and make sure that the deal is a good deal. Because yes, you can buy a business, but what if it's a shitty business and you don't know how to calculate the right ratios? You don't want to be screwed in this space. You'll then see how to get financing on your, those deals. And not only that, we will open our our contacts and the access to all the financial institutions that we know. We will show you how to get accountants and lawyers on success fees. And obviously we have our team to do that. So you won't need to even find them. And we'll then of course show you how to grow those businesses and how to make sure we have someone operating the day to day for us. Because unless you want to run businesses day to day because you're passionate about it, we highly suggest you not to do that. We can find someone to run the day to day for us while we in charge of the vision and setting goals for that manager. Not only that we're going to open our doors to all the financial institutions that you need, we are also going to put our personal capital into deals in our group of partners, in our shark tank. We're going to create some kind of a shark tank where we're going to look at deals that you want to buy and we potentially going to invest our own capital, basically going to put some equity kick into those deals. So many times, you know, you can buy a million dollar business, but you're missing 50 grand here, 100,000 here. And we are able to put our personal capital just because we believe in those deals. Those are our, the best deals out there. Investing in small businesses is, is the best thing an investor can do. And we will put the capital into some of those deals as well. So if you need help with that, you can apply to the program if you never bought a business before or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it by acquisitions and go and buy other complementary businesses. This is for people who understand that they need to invest in themselves in order to get to a point where they can buy a million dollar business. And it's also for, for people who understand that every day that go by and you're not buying another million dollar business and you're not owning another million dollar business, it's costing you million dollar. So if you're trying to learn about this space for one month or two months or one year or two years, 
every month that go by and you didn't buy in business cost you another $1 million. So don't hustle anymore to get another client for your business. Let's hustle together to buy a million dollar business as partners. And don't get me wrong, you can definitely try and do it on your own just by watching my free videos. Some of the info I have here, I literally paid multiple six figures to learn. But the partner program is for people who want to accelerate their growth, who want to have access to people and contacts and doors that they wouldn't have otherwise. This is for people who want to cut their learning curve in years. That is for people who are committed to take decisions right now and get results right now. So if you don't want to wait, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and me or one of my team members will talk to you to see if it's a fit. The worst case is that you'll get a better clarity on your next steps in the space of buying businesses and will give you all the advice that you want. The best case is that you'll have access to a team that did more than 300 deals who will buy with you as your partners, your first or first, second or as many businesses as you want with you as soon as possible. So if you want, go right now to moranpober.com forward slash talk and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos on this channel. Like, subscribe, comment, help me grow the channel, help me buy more businesses so I can help you buy yours as well. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.